NBC on both coasts played a role uh, and that uh, Mort and Grant and I played a role in getting more blacks on television. Um, Nat King Cole had been on NBC very early on, but not for a long time. And I think Sammy Davis had. I don't know the deep, but the things I do know details of are the uh, I Spy, <clears throat> in which Bill Cosby appeared in a major role. I negotiated that deal uh, with Sheldon Leonard, and it was it was on for, was a hit. And some people in the audience didn't like that, and I was aware of some of the complaints because in America of that time is not the America of today. But we did do that. And I think Grant developed that show. I mean, if, if you knew the date of it, uh, whatever. It's just whether it's 66 or earlier. It went on the air before I was out here. But while I was out here, a script came in called Julia. Now, if you read that script, it was about a widow who had one or two kids who worked for an irascible doctor. The doctor was played by Lloyd Nolan. It was a Hal Cantor script. And you couldn't tell by the script about the color, nationality, or anything. And he wanted to put a Diane Carroll in. And Mort and I immediately said, great, let's do that. Now, in the show, she did not play any kind of stereotype. She played an ordinary person. Some of the black shows that went on the air all over did have that quality to it. This was not that. But this was the first show starring a black woman, and it was a hit. I mentioned Flip. I mentioned that because that was the first show in the history of television in which a black comedian, comic, headed a variety show. Um, and I'm trying to think of, there, there were, there were in, on the bold ones, we had, uh, we had black actors that played prominent starling roles. So we really tried, I mean, we tried to look for parts that they could fill, <clears throat> and all of us did. Can you give me a little bit of a background as to why African Americans weren't on television in starring roles like that up until that point? Well, they weren't a lot of places because of the way our society has developed. And uh, it's not been completely rectified now. I mean, one of the things that um, you really don't see is you don't see many African Americans behind the camera. Uh, you see them on camera as performers and, and certainly our music and our sports in so many ways have more representation than, than ever. Certain areas dominant, but they're not yet. Uh, I think it's a, it's a case of feeding them to the system when they're young. It was a perception, I guess. I mean, you didn't sit around and even think about it. All you did know was that there were not. There was not the kind of representation that there should have been. And therefore, uh, if you saw the right role, you, one would try to do something about it. But I'll tell you about an incident quite well known, the Tula Clark, I believe it was. Chrysler Special. Guest star on the show, Harry Belafonte. He grasped her hand, and Chrysler threatened to pull out of the show. I don't believe it happened, but it was when I was out in Burbank, I couldn't believe it. We've come a long way. We have, I mean, we have, we have Barack Obama's running for president. Who would have thought that? I mean, we have come a long way, but there's plenty of way yet to go. Just that simple.